Here's how to install a ManyChat growth tool on ClickFunnels. So we've created a funnel and we're going to head over now to ManyChat and pick our growth tool that we're going to install. So, oops, and we've already started, let's start again. So we're gonna go into growth tools and widgets, new growth tool, and we're gonna install a button today. It's basically the same no matter what type you pick. For buttons and embeddable widget, there's widgets, there's just an additional step that I'll show you. So once you've configured it, head into setup and install the JavaScript snippet. Now we first need to authorize or whitelist the website. So we're gonna head over to the ClickFunnels step. So your ClickFunnels account has a general um, domain or URL that you can choose. In this case, it's spotlightsocial.clickfunnels.com. That is what we're going to pick. So we copy and we paste this into here and we're gonna click add. It's gonna give us the www and just the regular one here. So that whitelists the whole domain. You can either click next or B and we're gonna paste this code into the head of every page of the funnel. The easiest way to do that is actually just to go into the settings for a particular funnel. Now, this doesn't do it across um, every single funnel you've built. You need to do this per funnel, okay? So come into the tracking code, paste that code in, and save an update. So now we are on the squeeze page. So let's go in and we will edit this page. All right, so instead of this button, we're gonna insert our own code. So let's add a new element. And we are going to insert custom JS slash HTML. Okay, and we'll click on it. I'm gonna open the code editor. All right, now let's head back over to ManyChat. So we have the snippet installed, but what we don't have is this embed code pasted where we want the button to show up. So we're gonna copy this code paste it into our code editor. And now we have our code all set to go. We're gonna preview it. Sometimes this won't actually work on a preview. So let's save it. Let's make sure that the code saved. Yep, we're good. All right, perfect. So let's save this again. Good to go. And let's exit. Now let's go to the actual page itself. So we're going to open up the actual page here. So the reason this didn't appear is we never activated it. Easy to overlook, unfortunately. Um, you can do activate and check, or you can just activate it. Probably the best practice is to activate and check. So we're gonna paste in the actual code from the page. So here's our squeeze page. Copy and paste, check. Uh, all right, well, whatever. Widget status, check is complete. Warnings, manual check is needed. Eh, we don't really care about that. Let's go to, to check on the page. So if it actually works, now that it's active, we know that we're good. We'll just test it right away. And there we go. There's our send a messenger button. We'll click on this. And yep, it absolutely works. You can see I have a ton of messages. And there you go. So, yep, thanks for welcome. Thanks for subscribing. So, so that's how you install on a ClickFunnels page.